Um, we have not heard anything back. I think the reason that I signed on and that the other mayors signed on was because we've had grave concerns. And you look at what's happening in Portland, uh, that I think the federal involvement is uh, pouring fuel on the fire. We uh, have a lot of issues going on right now in American cities. What we don't need is actually further conflagration relating to having any number of unmarked officers that are coming in and, frankly, scaring the public more than I think is necessary when we already have local police departments that can address a number of the issues. So that's why we sent the letter. We wanted to make it clear that we want only support when asked, not necessarily just folks intervening. I think uh, the short answer is, is yes. I think there's a way that you can say we, so have, we like having support from federal law enforcement to do things like investigations of unsolved murders, investigations of ballistics, those sorts of things that are distinct where our police department is still leading. That's the situation with federal involvement here in every one of our cities. We have FBI agents, ATF agents, et cetera. What I have concerns with and what I think most mayors would have concerns with is not your local FBI branch helping you out on unsolved homicides, particularly unsolved, unsolved homicides of young people. It's instead uh, folks coming in to arrest protesters, folks coming in who aren't reporting either to your local police department or talking to or communicating with mayors, and frankly, our cities being used as political battlegrounds, uh, I think, for the president's advantage. Well, I think step one, you know, hope springs eternal that the president will listen to leaders in every one of these jurisdictions and around the country. Um, we know our communities, we know their challenges, but we also know the assets that we have here to address any number of issues. So that's why you have that letter sent first. I've also reached out to my congressional delegation. I have two Republican senators, um, a number of Congress people around this area who also have, I think, helped push forward that message. But ultimately, I think in the same way that you are seeing people on the streets making noise, we need to, as elected officials, continue to make it clear to the White House, to the Department of Justice, to the Department of Homeland Security, that we're not interested in just an outside occupying force that is actually supplanting our police. I mean, this is the interesting part. At the time, people are complaining about police who may not know communities. Bringing in law enforcement agents from a thousand miles away is not the cure necessarily, particularly when it's dealing with protest activity. You know, what's going on there is is very simply this. I actually saw an interview with uh, Mayor London Breed of San Francisco that said a similar thing. There are a lot of people that I think are using the language, the narrative of the Black Lives Matter movement, but don't seem to give a damn about what black people want back in our communities. And so, look, here's the deal, right? We do have um, clear issues with violent crime in communities.